Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we talk all things health, fitness, and of course, the carnivore diet. Now, if you're thinking about going carnivore, you might be wondering, should I go all in with a strict carnivore diet or take a more flexible approach? Today, we're comparing the pros and cons of both. Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about the strict carnivore diet. This version is as simple as it gets. We're talking about sticking to just animal products, meat, fish, eggs, and salt, no plants, no dairy, and definitely no sweeteners or plant-based spices. Now, for some people, this sounds like a dream come true. Let's look at the pros first. Number one, simplicity. No calorie counting, no portion sizes to stress about. You eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full, and that's it. Number two, fewer cravings. When you cut out all carbs, especially processed foods, many people find their cravings for sweets and snacks just disappear. It's a huge win if sugar has been a struggle for you. And number three, inflammation reduction. Since this diet cuts out all plant-based foods, which can sometimes cause inflammation in sensitive people, some experience a noticeable reduction in joint pain, digestive issues, and even clearer skin. But of course, it's not all sunshine and ribeyes. The strict version does have some downsides. First up, limited variety. Eating only animal products can get monotonous over time. Sure, you can switch up the cuts of meat, but after a while, some people miss the flavors of plant-based spices or herbs. Then there's the social aspect. Going strict carnivore can make it tough to eat out or join family meals. Unless you're at a steakhouse, options can be pretty limited. Last but not least, high-quality grass-fed meats, which are sometimes recommended on the diet, can be expensive, making the strict carnivore diet potentially costly to maintain, especially for those who prioritize sourcing the best cuts. Now let's compare that to a less restrictive carnivore diet where you can introduce things like coffee, seasonings, or even small amounts of low-carb fruits like avocado, this version gives you a bit more freedom while still keeping the core principle of eating mostly animal products. It falls somewhere between the strict carnivore diet and the keto diet. First pro, more variety. Adding things like cheese, heavy cream, or spices can make meals more interesting and enjoyable long-term. Number two, better social flexibility. You can participate in meals with friends or family a little more easily, plus, Having a coffee or tea without guilt can be a game changer for some. And three, easier to sustain for some people. This approach can feel less restrictive, which means you're more likely to stick with it without feeling deprived. But there are a few cons too. Allowing more foods can mean more temptations. It's easier to let a little flexibility turn into a slippery slope back to old eating habits. And some people may experience less dramatic benefits. For example, if dairy or certain spices trigger inflammation for you, you might not get the full benefits that the strict carnivore diet could provide. Lastly, if you're prone to digestive issues, some of the added foods might not sit well with you. So it's important to pay attention to how your body reacts. So which version is best? Well, that depends on your personal goals and how your body responds to different food groups. If you want the simplicity and potential for quick results, strict carnivore could be your thing. But if you're looking for a long-term sustainable approach with a bit more flavor and flexibility, the less restrictive version might be a better fit. Remember, it's all about finding what works best for you. Let me know in the comments which version you're leaning toward, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on living your best carnivore life. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.